It's exciting to see our students and our local residents alike as they walk, run, and ride through campus. Kelowna is grateful to have received $6.2 million from the province for active transportation infrastructure since 2004. That includes $1.3 million specifically for the Ethel Casorso Active Transportation Corridor to help keep cycling an accessible and viable method of transportation for not only just residents, but the tourists that we know are already here or on the way in the coming weeks and months ahead. Ethel Casorso, though, is unique in that it was designed to help new riders build their confidence before exploring the larger cycling network. The separated design gives cyclists, pedestrians, and motorists their own space and mimics the rules of the road cyclists use when separated facilities aren't available. These kinds of investments, these multi-use pathways, are really for people of all ages and abilities, so that's a, a key distinction. Asking a senior or asking uh, somebody who's an inexperienced cyclist to just get out and, and ride mixed in amongst the traffic uh, doesn't doesn't encourage people to take up cycling, quite frankly. Um, it, they need to gain experience on a a safe course uh, like this, and this one goes everywhere that people need to go. This is a connection to a number of vital neighborhoods and really contemplates uh, the connections people need to make um, and will encourage them, having gained experience here, uh, to cycle more frequently everywhere uh, throughout Kelowna.